What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, which you should be looking out for the future. I'm also going to break down what's going on with the news right now that just came out, how this could affect AMC. Why AMC is getting very close to a major, major date. I'm also going to talk about Apple and NVIDIA and just a couple of other stocks out there like Spy and the QQQ. But before I do anything like that, before I talk about AMC and what's happening with the markets, let me just mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I am not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. And lastly, check out the Moomoo link, which is down below in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you are guaranteed up to 10 free stocks, and they could be worth up to $2,000. The offer ends very soon, in just a couple of weeks. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. All right, so anyways, let's talk about the market. What's going on right now? What do I see essentially playing out? Well, for AMC on the one-hour time frame, we're about to get a bullish cross on the PPO, which tells me there is still some potential for it to try to push up, maybe gap up into the open, but I'd still be very careful at this range because of the news that came out. Now, the news came out that President Joe Biden signed the debt ceiling bill to help us avoid a default. And this was essentially very, very important. This was necessary and this was needed. But there is a possibility that this could become a buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event. So the debt ceiling was still in the process of being passed for many weeks, basically, since uh, last week. Uh, this was taking a while. And the market just started pumping, right? As soon as last Friday, as soon as like Thursday of last week, or like the week before, you know, uh, the last week, the market was pumping, basically. And as the market continued to pump, you know, we had the agreement between Biden and McCarthy. The market pumped more. The market slowed down a little bit after that. And then it continued to pump as we approached the House passing the deal on Wednesday. On Thursday, the Senate passed it. On Friday, the market continued to pump on Friday. And then Saturday comes and Biden passed it just yesterday. Biden signed the bill, so now it's officially done. And this did help the U.S. avoid a catastrophe. Now, is this great news? To some degree, I mean, there are very different interpretations of this. Many people could you know, argue that we're getting into too much debt. <laughs> It's not good. Other people would say otherwise. I mean, we did avoid a default and the market was liking this. That's really the stance I'm taking. I'm not going to decide with any opinions, at least for the time being. And the market liked it. Now, this helped many stocks pump and AMC has held up just a tiny bit. It's still not looking that strong. The options chain is very, very uh, plain. Volume on AMC wasn't that strong, which is not a good sign. And if we do get a big spike in volume, that could cause lots of volatility for the share price. Let me just also add that when it comes to the short interest, this is still uh, very low, at least on the legal side. I don't have enough data from like what's going on with naked shorts, but I am seeing a big increase in the FTDs. And that's very, very suspicious. So now let's break down the charts. I just want to note to you guys that right now the market's not looking the best because... If you look at SPY, we're about to get a bearish cross in the one hour time frame on the PPO. And finally, we're very overbought. So I'm thinking of two possibilities. Number one would be either, you know, one more push, maybe a gap up uh, to this 428 to 430 area before it starts to downtrend, or we just start downtrending from here. It's got to be one of those two. I'm leaning more in the direction of downside. And I'm anticipating over the next couple of trading days, SPY is going to revisit 425. I'm leaning in that direction. It could even drop lower if 425 breaks. If that does break, the next important level is going to be closer to 424, followed by this gap that's unfilled all the way down to 422. Those are important levels. The most significant one is going to be 420. Then this imbalance down here at like 417.8. Uh, Those are some levels to watch. But for now, let's just look at how it responds to these upper levels. If it breaks below 427.5, I'm going to be watching the 425 to be retested. And I think the odds greatly favor that. Now, we could get one more push first before the downside comes, but I am leaning more towards downside as we're very overbought. On Tesla, uh, there's also, you know, a bearish cross in the one hour uh, PPO, right? When this happened, we tend to see Tesla drop quite a bit most of the time. And it looks to me like there are two possibilities on Tesla. Either it pumps a little bit more and then we just start downtrending or it just continues to downtrend. My target will most likely be down here, in this 210 area, 209 to 210 is where Tesla is likely going to go. That's where we have this imbalance, and it's going to be attracting the algos. If that breaks, if it breaks below 209, there's this unfilled gap in the pre market at 207. Tesla is going to test the 207s if it fails at 209 to 210, and the odds favor it at least making it to 209 to 210. 
Where the QQQ? I'm going to be watching this level carefully. I just want to note that the QQQ has a bearish divergence and we have a bearish cross on the one hour time frame on the PPO. That tells me that if the QQQ breaks below this 353 support, it is going to likely come all the way back down to 349 to 350. Once again, dragging the market down with it. Now, for NVIDIA, if you're watching NVIDIA, it's likely going to follow a lot of these steps. Uh, there's this downtrend that has been respected, at least to some degree. And uh, if anything with NVIDIA, there is this nice support at this three two, uh, 375 excuse me, area. Uh, I'm looking at NVIDIA from this perspective. There's a bearish cross on the PPO, and we need to hold above the 1 hour 50 MA to bounce. It might try to bounce just a little bit, but it's going to be fighting around this 400 if it does try in the pre-market. It's likely going to reject, and if the market downtrends, which I think it will, NVIDIA might make its way all the way back down to the 377 to 375 area. If it does reject and break below the 50, the odds do favor that, looking at the QQQ and NASDAQ. NASDAQ also has a bearish divergence. And finally... For Apple, if you're interested in Apple, they have a big event very soon. So this could actually help the market, at least to some degree. It could help Apple try to hold up. Let me find my Apple chart. I think it's down here. But anyways, for Apple, it's holding up for now. But remember, these events could be like buy the rumors, sell the news. Uh, there's also a bearish divergence developing on Apple. So if it does pump off the, like the big event, uh, it could try to pump a little bit or at least hold these levels temporarily. But then it's going to likely start selling off thanks to this bearish divergence as long as it's valid. And so far, it's still valid. So I'd be very careful right here, right? We could see the RSI was at 81 before. The RSI hit a high of 78 despite the price making a much higher high. So that's not the best of signs. And that tells me that Apple might get a cool off soon. Uh, if that's the case, I'd be very careful. But we'll have to just wait and see on that. Last but not least, four ticker symbol AMC. AMC is very choppy, lots of algorithmic trading, but there was an in, uh, inverse head and shoulders that formed right here where AMC tried to pump. It might make an attempt to pump a little bit more to get closer to 4.8 before it rejects. There might be some relative strength for it, but I think the overall market may slow it down simultaneously, unfortunately. That's because we have a potential bearish divergence in the process of developing. So I'm leaning towards AMC getting one more pump up to this like 4.81 area, then getting a rejection coming right back down to 4.5 and just trading sideways for the time being. As the market cools off a bit, this may cause AMC to slow down. I want to warn you about that. Even if we do get a pump in the pre-market early tomorrow, if it breaks above 4.8, then it's going to make its way up to $5, but I'm not leaning in that direction. And let me just add that for the future, okay, we have a big event coming out with the settlement in just a couple of weeks. If AMC does get a settlement, we might see AMC drop with a kind of like pumping, but things could change after that. We also have to remember we have FOMC and the CPI report coming out uh, next week. When they come out, if the market gets a big pump, this could help AMC too. But for now, AMC is trading kind of sideways, not really doing too much. I'd rather be very patient with it. And we'll wait and see how this goes, okay? Just be very patient with it. I'm going to be watching for a 4.8 retest first though, if anything. But it's nothing too significant for the time being. That does not change the fact that AMC has potential for the longer term, but that's what I'm seeing at least as of right now. Last but not least, let me just add that I have some merch for you guys. If you want to buy a shirt, a tank top, or a hoodie that says to the moon, or buy low, sell high, or like we are strong together as apes, it's up to you. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys checked it out, but if not, completely fine with me. All right, so enjoy your weekend, guys. Remain calm, cool, and collected, and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC in the market to the moon as the long term is very bright. And peace out.